Good afternoon, everyone. It's right around uh, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, I want to take a little break for a moment and uh, try to bring you some encouragement. I've been watching for the rapture of the church for a long, long time, a lot of years, when I was finally, finally awoken to the reality, the truth of a pre-tribulation of rapture. When I came out of religion, when I came out of denominations, and I had a relationship with the Father, and I, I, I went to the Father in prayer and asked for Him to open up His living Word, that it would be alive and breathing to me, that I could see things that I weren't taught in a Bible study or in a seminary or in a church building, a setting. But I wanted him to be my teacher. I wanted, I wanted the Father, Abba Father, to show me, show me the ways and to teach me his ways and to draw close to him and have a personal relationship with him. And I've been a watchman on the wall for many, many years. He called me to ministry to uh, go out and to reach the unreachable, the invisible people of the street, the homeless, the poor, the hurting and suffering, and to remind them that there is hope, and that hope is our Mashiach, our Messiah, Jesus. And I have this sense of urgency that soon everything is going to change, that you're going to come to the realization that we're right. Jesus is coming. And he's going to come, and he's going to break the eastern sky, and he's going to take his bride. And we're going to go to that mansion that he promised us in his father's house. I can't wait to get to his father's house to be there. And I'm not setting dates. I'm not ever, ever going to be a date setter or set a time or a month. But I know we're in the season. It's the fall of the year. Rosh Hashanah has just passed. And I truly believe that it's time to go home. I really believe that very soon there's going to be no more YouTube. You're, you're not going to find Pastor Dave's channel becoming hard puzzle. It'll be shut down. It'll be gone. It will be no more. Things as you have come to know on this earth, in this world, things are going to drastically change. And I know many of you are waiting on the rapture, wanting to be with Jesus, but you have to come to realize that this is all temporary, that we have to let go. Not only let go of the unforgiveness and let go of the past, but let go of this lifestyle that we've been been accustomed to on earth here this is not our home this is just a temporary change of address as we're passing through god is spirit we are spiritual beings here on earth 3d on this earthly plane and this is not our home i can feel his closeness I feel his presence. I can feel that he is just right there, sitting right there, just beyond the sight of the human eye, ready to come and to take the church. We see the evil going on in the world. We see all the corruption. We see the world leaders, the kings of the world, the queens, the princes of the world. We see war on the horizon war and rumors of war we see what's going on in our own united states of america with the corruption and uh, i truly believe that uh, things are drastically going to change it's going to get worse we're on the cusp of the time of jacob's trouble great tribulation everything is about to explode but let me assure you there's no trigger point or the rapture of the church. Everything's set. The governments of the world know. Those that are into the evil Illuminati, 
the occult, Hollywood, the movie industry, the music industry, the elite, the globalist, the world leaders know. And they're preparing. That's why we're getting uh, bits and pieces, uh, disclosure here about uh, uh, astronauts and uh, the Air Force confirming sightings of unidentified flying objects. They're going to try to explain this all away as we're not alone in the alien abduction because they know the church is about to leave. Satan knows too. He doesn't know when. He doesn't know the hour. He doesn't know the day or the time or the hour, but he knows it's right here. So that's why we're seeing a lot going on in the world. The earth is moaning and groaning. I believe there's going to be a major, major, major magnitude over 9.0 earthquake that is just going to cause a great deal of damage to the fault zones I believe it's going to be such a shaking that it will open up the graves for the dead in Christ shall rise first and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds to meet Jesus in the air at the crucifixion there was such an earthquake a violent violent earthquake that the graves opened and the dead they, they rose out of the graves and walked through the city. And I believe that that's foretelling what's to come. When we are taken, I believe the children are going to go first. I truly do. I believe the children are going to go first. How Jesus loved the children. I believe our pets, we're going to see our pets. We're going to be reunited. What a, what a glorious day. What a glorious day in the presence of our, our Savior. To see Jesus face to face. I want you to be ready. I want you to be prepared for liftoff. I know we're going home. I don't know when. I don't know if it's today. It could be. It could be, I believe, any time now. I want you to live every moment, every second, every day of your life as if it is the day of departure. Be encouraged, he's coming quickly in clouds of great glory. He's allowed to break the eastern sky, but are you really ready? Are you ready to leave the internet? Are you ready to leave those that you know, friends, co-workers, family members that are not saved? Take this time to try to reach them, to try to bring them to the Lord. Take this time. Take this time. Don't sit idly by waiting for your chance to escape we've got to bring as many as many as we can over to Jesus please if you're watching this and you are not saved you're not born again there's no other way you don't want to be left here please give your life to Jesus now it's very simple just acknowledge before God that you're a sinner repent and ask him to forgive you he will Believe in your heart, but God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that he's the Lord over your life. Invite him to sup with you. Now, do it now. There's no more time. Do it now. Invite him into your heart today. There's no specific sinner's prayer. I call it the winner's prayer. Just acknowledge you're a sinner. Repent before God. Ask him to forgive you. He will. Believe, believe, believe in your heart that he raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Invite him to sup with you. Invite him into your heart today. There's no other way. He's coming. He's coming. Just as Enoch was taken, just as Elijah was caught up in a whirlwind, just like Noah, the ark was lifted. The ark was lifted above by the waters. Paul was taken and shown. John was told to come up hither. It's time for it's time for Jesus to say, Come up, children, come up hither to me. Be ready. 
be ready. He's coming. I love you guys. I got to get back out here with our homeless outreach ministry. I just wanted to bring you some love and encouragement today. Be ready. Let this go. Let it all go. He's coming. He's coming today. Tomorrow. In the twinkling of an eye.